And welcome. We're going to do a quick demonstration of mitosis today. And for my students, we this is the same lab we already completed. I found this lab online and I'm going to show you what everybody saw in lab but explain why you should have seen these pictures. So uh, just for a quick review, what we're going to use for this lab, the uh, pink colored pipe cleaner will represent the chromosomes that you got from mom and the blue ones will represent the chromosomes you got from dad. Now the single piece is an uncopied chromosome so this would be one of the chromosomes you would see uh, let's say in the G1 phase of the cell cycle or after certain parts of anaphase depending on which process we're talking about. So that's a, that's a, a single uncopied chromosome and then this would be the copied version of each respective chromosome after the S phase of the cell cycle. So that's what we're going to use. Now the, we're just going to do mitosis in this video and I have another video that I'll put a link to for, for meiosis. But for mitosis basically remember what we're trying to do is we're going to start out with a diploid cell and end with a diploid cell. An exact copy. So we're going to assume that we've already gone through the G1, S1, and G2 phase and we're starting right here at prophase of mitosis. So we'll have these two homologous pairs and in prophase and during prophase the nucleus divide or goes away and we enter into metaphase. Now what will happen for metaphase is these two homologous chromosomes will line up along the middle of the cell. The spindle fibers will attach, which are these lines. And then what we'll see is the spindle fibers will begin to shorten and condense, pulling the two pieces apart, the chromatids apart, which will, and it'll kind of bend them, and it'll look something like this. I believe I used an analogy of. Uh, Spider-Man pulling with a web, but it will pull these apart like that, and that's anaphase. Now, this illustration serves two purposes. It shows telophase and cytokinesis, uh, but since we're we're strictly talking mitosis, I didn't want to put cytokinesis on here to confuse anybody, but we will end up splitting the cells apart. So we, we zoom out and after telophase we're going to end up with two new cells and each cell will have a copy of the chromosomes. One from dad and one from mom. And then that will be the same on the other side. Now sometimes people will say I'm confused. Why did we start with chromosomes that look like X's and end with chromosomes that don't? And simply, these are just copied. We still consider them a single chromosome. So this is one blue chromosome and that is one pink chromosome, but they've been copied. And the only reason that we show it that way is in order to end up with a cell that has all the chromosomes, you have to copy what's in the original. If we just went through these phases and just split it, we would end up with two cells that had half the chromosome. So you have to copy your DNA before you can make two cells that are exactly the same. So again, mitosis, we start with a cell that has all of the chromosomes. Now for this illustration we're only showing one pair. In a typical human cell, skin cell, there would be 23 pairs, but we can't show that on here I I easily, so we're just going to show one pair and you end up with a cell that has a pair.